welcome to At The Computer. As we get deeper in November, I've been kind of in a thankful mood. Yeah. You know, it's been real reflective, and I thought as a fun team building exercise, we'll do a thank you circle. Uh, What's a thank you circle? So what that is, is you go around, everyone in the room says one nice thing about somebody. So I'll start. Uh, Bruce over here, um, you're always on time. Hey, that's true. And as someone who has so much responsibilities doing this show, that's one thing I can count on, so thank you. So mm -hmm. now you go say something nice about me. You? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Narrow it down, just one thing. Uh, I got nothing. Nothing? I, I got can nothing. think of millions. I mean, uh, I'm smart, uh, I'm real good at writing, I'm a good yeah. producer, good critic, I'm good at video games, oh, uh, hey, I'm real athletic. Hey, yeah. I, got, I got one thing. Okay. Right. Uh, you look okay in this light. Okay? Yeah. What you do you know, mean? It hides some blemishes, you know, hides the gut a bit. What? You There's look, nothing to hide. I look good in any hey, light. Hey, don't blind the people Hey, I look home. good hey. in the daylight, I look good in Target, I look good at nighttime, I'll sweep ladies off their feet day uh, and night, doesn't matter, I am gorgeous. You know, you need to get your glasses hey, they checked. they work just fine. All if right, you see you Frank know, out in public, you let me, you We'll me. settle this in the streets, we're gonna play some Final Fight at the computer. Welcome to Metro City, Final Fight at the Computer. The game vaults all its story at you, but I'll kind of sum it up. Mayor, former Street Fighter Mike Hager, is the mayor of uh, Metro City, mm -hmm. which is a hellscape. Oh, There's no. a gang known as Mad Gear. They're completely destroying the streets with their ruthless punks and thugs. <gasps> we got a phone call. What's gonna happen? Hello? Sometime in the 1990s. Who's calling? Who's calling? Oh, let me check my uh, <laughs> my monitor. So the gang has kidnapped Mike Hager's daughter. And they wanted to pay him some money, a little mob money, squeeze him. He ain't gonna stand up for that, because he's American. He got the American flag on the top right. And he's an ex-Street Fighter, man. Yeah, dude, you don't wanna mess with him. <laughs> got little monkey noises. Son of a... Monkey what you done? In the Japanese version, they show Jessica in her bra. Oh, jeez. They cut that out in the national version. That's... That's dark. Yeah, I know, right? But hey, he's like, hey, let us do what we like, just like the mayor before you. Uh-uh, we ain't standing up for that. He's gonna call his friends. Guy, Jessica was kidnapped. Jessica? Ah, uh, yes, my sweetheart since childhood. The Mad Gears must pay. She's my friend, too. Count, Count me in. in. I love that. Final fight. That logo, perfection. All right, then you got the attract mode. No spoilers. Let's press start. Let's put, let's put in a lot of quarters. All right, press start. Who are you gonna be? Uh, I mean, gotta be the mayor. All right, Mag Mike Hager. Guy was always my go-to because he was like a ninja. Cody's fun to play as because he can use knives. Oh. So, you know, you got some options. I see Frank Hogan, All right. nice character. Beat him up trope, yeah. Beat him up trope, uh, the gang has stolen your girl and you gotta rescue her. This game, oh, everything about this, the music, the characters. So off the bat, this game is so charming and funny to play because it depicts, this is a Japanese developed game and uh, it depicts America as like a nightmare of street thugs and punks. Um, so you got like all these dudes just coming out of just crack, coming out of, like, uh, coming out of crack houses. Uh, so I'm ready to fight. Yeah, you just gotta beat them up. Oh, we got some cheeseburgers. Yeah, I'm, eat, I'm eating. I'm hungry. Oh yeah. Look at this dude with the knife. Look, there's so many people ganging up, and we we set the difficulty dip down to easy just so we can get through the game a little bit faster. No, this is hard. No, this is way hard. Dude. We're so strong. We're punching up. Uh, but you see like the city in the background. You see all these trash cans, broken windows, and pipes. Like this city ain't right. All right, we're gonna go down. That was much faster than I suspected. All right, here, let me show you a tree code. Don't, don't be getting the barrels up. Don't be getting the barrels up. All let me right. show you something you can do. You can stand up on here. Oh, whoa. Isn't that cool? That's, fr what a crazy Easter egg. Frank. All right, so this is one of my favorite games of all time. Oh, I just got a knife too. So I know all the little the glitches and secrets up in here. Let me see, my up button's not working very well. <laughs> okay, got my pipe. So this game, oh shit. I, oh, I, I sh you know, I know, I'm so familiar with this game. I can't believe I let that slip right through me. Also, I like this dude's got bad written on the back of his jacket with the atomic logo, <laughs> and then it's got his best friend who looks like a, these guys look like Batman characters. Oh shit! So like, oh, there's so much that's charming about this game. I can talk endlessly about it, but I like how there's like no real cohesion to the bad guys you fight. Like they all look like they belong to different gangs. But it's just also, I just love punching through. You guys hear the next name? You punch open barrels. You punch open tires. There's all. Oh yeah, classic. You gotta eat some chicken. You wanna chicken. get hit though? Oh, I want a sword. There's samurai swords hidden in barrels. Look at all these dudes just chilling out in front of the quick stop like Jane Silent Bob. Now. Oh yeah, you are. All right, well, you got boy. Damned, known as Thrasher in the Super Nintendo version. He's got dreads out. He looks like Garrett. Like this is a fucking '90s cool. Alright, be Garrett up. Hell yeah. Oh shoot. I've always wanted. He this. does his like laugh if you let him sit for a bit. 
Oh, yeah, the jet has hit A. You gotta pick him up, hit A, and do the pile driver on him. Oh, he's gonna jump around and thrash. Hell yeah, we just smashed him up. Oh, whoops. oh you smashed me sorry, up. Sorry, sorry. I'm trying to get into the hey, hey, oh. hey, oh, shoot. He's a big dude. You gotta pick him up and pile drive him. All right. He's gonna run away. He's gonna call his homies out, and they come out. We got Hollywood. We got Bread. We got Doug. Doug. And we got, yeah, dude, Bread's a cool last name. What, what, what would be your street name? Um, if you joined the Mad Years. Probably be like Frosty. Frosty? Yeah, what's wrong with Frosty? Frosty. All right, Frosty and Tips. Those would be our two names. Why, See, why are you Tips? All, I don't know, because all these characters, there's two, like, palette swaps for them. So you got, oh, my up button's not working. This, this machine's broken. Um, press press square when you're in the air. You told me to press A and oh, I press Bruce, A. Oh, come on. A, this, A. this is not a good demo. Hey, now you're throwing me at him. Oh, do, do, oh, my God. You'll just do it on a regular scrub later. Don't hit me. All right, he's gonna go call more people. You stand in front of the hey, door hey, as people hey, come hey, over. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, also, we got Poison coming into the scene. Poison and Roxy. Uh, there was controversy because in the arcade version, this is uncut, but when they ported this to Super Nintendo, they changed Roxy, uh, they changed him into a boy because uh, they didn't, Capcom didn't want you to be punching- uh, A girl. Yeah, punching girls. And so, they, Poison was changed to Billy uh, but then later, when they brought Poison back, they kind of retconned it and said that Poison was a post-op transsexual. So there's a deep uh, lore going. A... There's deep lore to this game. I'm not making this stuff no, up. Now I feel uncomfortable. That's eggs. Hey, you know what? But we're playing the arcade version, so these are just cool-ass girls playing. But hey, if they're post-op, I'm okay with that. You know, I like them. They got their handcuffs. They're they're fucking yeah, hot. they're red. Yeah, they're really cool. They don't look as cool in the Super Nintendo version. Also, talking about uh, Metro City as a hellscape, look at this busted ass subway. No one wants to ride this. Uh, it looks like a normal subway to me. Also, I like, like the guy you're fighting is Axel and Slash. So everything in this game stems from like late 80s, like rock and roll American pop culture. So again, this is this is a Japanese developed game, but you're fighting American street punks. So you got Andre the Giant and his name is Ondor Jr. I don't like him. You don't like him, this big fiery punk with his leather? Just look how big he is, you wanna uh... mess with him. All right, I, let me, give me the controller for a sec. I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna switch to Mike Hager because Bruce doesn't know how to play. What? Uh, what are you talking about? I'm gonna show you how you pile drive. Oh, God, get him off me. I hate. Oh, Frank, Ooh, you uh. did a good job. Hey, you know oh, what? You died. Oh, All right, that's so, weird. step step away. Step off from him. All right. Oh, oh Frank, well, shut up. Shut really up. Really good. Hey, he's bigger. He's hard to pick up. All right, don't do anything. Fuck. Oh, Frank. Just let me. <laughs> shut up. I like let your me. pile driver. All right, do it. Okay. Oh, that was there worth, you go. That I was killed him. I broke his neck like stone cold. Uh, when uh, Owen Hart broke his neck. Look at these punks riding the subway. Nowhere is safe in Mad City. Can you see why Mike Hack, you know, why we need to step up? Yeah, Mike Hager, I'm a mayor, look at me. How did this city get so corrupt? What was it? I'm a bad Was mayor. it drugs? Was it rap music? Was it punk? What collapsed society? I'm a, I'm a uh, guess of all three. <laughs> all three. You know what? Drugs, rap music, uh, yeah, all, all together Dude, punk well, music. Well, it, was, it was Ronald Reagan at the time, in the late 80s, there was the war on drugs, and they depicted, like, if you weren't, like, if you weren't right, you were, you were wild, you are a wild child. Look at all these punks, dude. This is why it's real important to have curfews, this is why you gotta avoid uh, violence in video games, you gotta avoid MTV. So, something I love about late 80s, and like, just B-movies in general, is like, Final Fight isn't the only place you see this depiction. Uh, one of my favorite movies of all time, is a new favorite, is Death Wish 3. Death Wish 3 is incredible. Death Wish 3 and just any trauma movie in general, like uh, uh, high school, uh, what is it, Radiation High School, <laughs> whatever the hell it's called. Um, all these movies depict these street punks, and it's just like, there's no law. And it's up to like Schwarzenegger, Stallone, Charles Bronson to get their own gun, to be this d vigilante, yeah. to bring justice back to the streets. And you watch this stuff today, and now, like, I live in a suburb, but even, like, New York City has cleaned up a lot. Like, it's so far removed from the America that we know. But I just love that Japan, in its depiction, was like, oh, let's just have a crazy, like, cartoon world, where it's just violence running well, a lot. Well, isn't this game based off of a, a movie? Oh, yeah. So, in 1980, you didn't help me out there, you just picked me up and broke my neck. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, I like how you can read his, uh... Abilities. So in 1984, there was a Walter Hill movie called Streets of Fire, which was a musical that took place in New York City where a gang stole your girlfriend, and it was up to the main character, Cody, to rescue her back. And that movie flopped in America, but because it was a crazy musical, uh, it was a huge hit in Japan. And so years later, you get this like loose adaptation of the story through Final Fight. Well, I'm gonna need some bananas. Just... That movie's awesome. It's got Willem Dafoe. Yeah, Willem Dafoe. That's a main bad and guy. We, have, punk. we got pipes here, but in Streets of Fire, you got people using uh, sledgehammers oh, fighting yeah. against each other, and that's just cool. So, all right, there's too much going on. The only uh, Asian characters in these game are these giant like sumo bulls. You got Elgato, a Mexican dude who throws like dynamite at you. All right, I got my knife. Fuck him up. And then I really like these two punk kids because they look like uh, they look like they're from Batman. 
We're on the subway. Yeah, dude, it's grinding to a halt. Who's the conductor? This is Look going. at these transitions. Look at just sitting. These right. dudes were sitting on the tracks, waiting to care. die. Yeah. They're waiting to beat people up. They don't care who comes down. Look at these guys all kick down the barrels. Life is meaningless in this metro city. Yeah, man. There's, you know, they need some after. Uh, this is uh, why after school programs are important. Like, uh, can you imagine there's a basketball team? You know, they could all join and become. You know, yeah. the gangs could go back to class and become honor students. Yeah, how old are these people? Like, uh, these all look like 16 years old. There's yeah. some violent youth who like violent. they took a one puff of their cigarette. They had one too many Doritos. They listened to one too many uh, metal music videos, and now they're wild. They're all really into Anthrax. Yeah, and Metallica. Just like these scene transitions, just fucking, oh, we're causing violence. You know, have you heard of the broken window theory? Yeah. So yeah, so the broken window theory. If you if you see a, a warehouse factory with one broken, if with uh, if there's no broken glasses, you're not gonna muck it up. But if you see ten broken glasses, ah, I'm gonna throw a rock this window. No yeah. one cares. It's the broken window theory, dude. That's why the city is dissented. Also, this game moves in such an insane level. You are on the surface. You went through a sub press start. Don't ah. lose your. Go on, press start. There you go. Pick Tiger again. Um, and now we're in a wrestling ring fighting a Japanese samurai. Uh, you know, just a little mix of the U.S. Kuma and West culture. Kuma Kuma yeah, dude, this is like, uh, <laughs> blood sport, dude. Who's gonna die? I just love that there's an X, skull and crossbones. You can see this endless sea of people oh, who geez. want violence. This is like WrestleMania. Am I, 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 is Matt Haggard okay with this? Like, am I doing a good job as the mayor? Yeah, like, you're yeah, cutting up bad guys, dude. That's what we want, dude. Tough, you know, get these thugs and bad hombres out of here. Okay, this, stop hitting me. This is what I wanted when Schwarzenegger became- Stop hitting uh, me, yeah. Yeah, this is fu okay. Go to the far right side of the ring. I'm gonna tag you out. Just one person here, okay? Let me I can't. I, I, I'm okay. I'm going. Oh, jeez. Oh, fuck this guy. See, this is a, one thing that sucks about beat em ups is like, the games are pretty chill until you get to the bosses, and then they just become quarter sucks. They just- Oh, fucking Jesus. I'm cursing too much. Oh, 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 I got him. Okay, no, never mind. My up button ain't working on this machine. Get off me! The machine broke. Yeah, the machine broke on me. All right, there we go. I do like it though, anytime uh, you spawn back. My thing doesn't go up unless I'm moving forward to it, whatever. There we go. Round two clear, baby. I also like the map you can kind of see as you make your way through. All right. Oh, hell yeah. This is the best. The music's here cool too. So this was made by the same development staff as Street Fighter 2. They made this after Street Fighter 1, but before Street Fighter 2. And there's so many of the same trends you'll see carry through. So Street Fighter 2 does have these, like, I was like, it's a Ja Japan license plate. Don't make it. Yeah. You see a lot of the same tropes. Mash, smash that up. Just go, go, go. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. I'm trying. Fake I'm it, fake it. Don't I'm make jamming. it. I don't think we're making it. Step aside, step aside. Oh, shit. Why is it not working? Be beat it up. Go, to, go higher up in the car. Higher up. Move up. I'm Mas trying. Smash it. I'm trying. There you go. There we go, Jesus. All right, best cutscene, best dialogue. Can you imagine this is normal life if you're a Metro City resident? Try got one. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh my God! <laughs> Poor guy, dude. That's my fear Wait, anytime why I park. Beat up that car? That's why I have so much parking anxiety anytime I park my car anywhere. All right, now we're going to the nightlife. You want to party, dude? It's like us going to downtown, dude. Let's let's uh. Yeah, downtown. Let's get wet. Orange County. Oh, I just okay. Well, I just mashed up a surf thing. Also, another classic video, video uh, movie gang is Terminator 1, when Arnold busts out and he sees oh, yeah. Bill Paxton with like a tire streak through his face. Like, it's just, I don't know, dude, there's something so charming about 80 punks. I wish I could go back in time and join an 80s punk gang. Well, I mean, I don't want to bust a bubble or nothing, but, I mean, these punks didn't really exist, but I like the, like, exaggerated, like, level of them in video games and movies. No, I feel like they actually, you know, who knows? Hey, you know what? I, we weren't alive back in this before our time. Maybe shit was really that bad. And then the internet came out and everyone stayed at home. Yeah. And now there's worse gangs on the internet, dude. You gotta look out for Anonymous, you gotta look out for ISIS, you know, all these bad dudes out there. Where's the beat em up with ISIS? No one's, everyone's afraid to tackle that. Ondor ain't coming, get out of here, no one wants you. You're not part of our, okay, let's keep going. See, that's one thing that sucks with beat em ups is you beat people up and they stay off the screen. Yeah, Who are you punching? I'm, I'm, I'm Just, preloading. I'm <laughs> preloading, all right, minority report. All right, check this out, how do we get in here? That's how I walk into bars. Look at these people just relaxing. He's having a real deep, it's like dinner with Andre over here, having a nice conversation. Oh, can you do free chicken? Look at these punkards, dude. Look at the old man. <laughs> just He's reading a paper. Reading oh, a paper. Oh, vi streets. gang violence is way up. The streets are filled with mockery. I like these punker dudes up here. Oh, shit. Also, one of my other favorite Japanese depiction of gangs is uh, Fist of the North Star. Oh, yeah. Which is inspired by Mad Max. But in Fist of the North Star, you get all these final fight punkers. Anyways, if there's anyone younger than us watching, you guys don't know what it was like growing up in Orange County in the 90s. It was ruthless. It was just like this. Just like this. Look at this one lady, dude. Let's pick her up. Lots of, like, Andres around. Wong Hu. Oh, that guy's going the wrong way. What? <laughs> what? Well, just say, hey. 
<laughs> you know. I like hey, Andor's. Uh, you're talking like you're from the 80s. <laughs> no. <laughs> what? No. Come on. That was, I didn't make anything inappropriate. <laughs> Wong Hu. That's just his name. Yeah, this yeah, is a yeah. pun. People make puns about me. Oh, it's hey, breakthrough. Oh, I want to bust through it. Oh, I want this pipe. Oh, yeah, let me pick up the pipe. I'm putting some quarters in. This also, you get kidnapped, dude. You didn't take you. Oh, you just follow along. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right. Uh oh. oh. This part I thought was fucking rad. So I'm someone who I loved. I love wrestling as a kid. I love Battle Royale, mm -hmm. where it's like millions of people coming into the ring, and now you got this crazy uh, wrestling match against the whole Ondor family. It's kind of like the O'Doyle Rules tribe in yeah. Billy Madison. O'Doyle Rules, except it's Ondor Rules. All right, this would go a lot better if you didn't hit me all the time. I didn't, I'm not hitting you. You are hitting me. No, I'm not. God, these zero on the ground. I didn't hit you. Okay, there we go. All right, you get the guy on the left. I'll get these guys on the right. I like the music plays here. Dude, it kicks ass. Oh, oh. So I've been gushing nonstop. There's still so much I want to talk about. But yeah, what's your impression of this game? What's your history with it? Um, I've never really played this game. I, I, like, I played it here and there, but this is like so before my time. And I, to be fair, I'm not really a fan of beat 'em ups per yeah. se. Like, I think they're fun, but I'm more so of like, I like character action games a lot. Okay. Fair like, I love. That's like uh, an evolution of it. Yeah, like I love God Hand, for example. Okay. Which is like an evolution of this game, but it has a little bit more combos and things going yeah. for it. But I can't deny like a. Like, I would never sit down and play through this game alone. Oh, what but, the hell? That's my favorite pastime. But playing... Back, we beat the wrestlers. All right, back, back to, to we business. Were. But playing Pull with friends is super fun, hey. and uh, I like the style and music. Oh, look at that surf billboard. Like, that's just... Oh, man, like, like a California aesthetic bleeding through. Yeah, um, this game, for me, like I said, press start. You don't, you don't want to miss out. Uh, Final Fight, one of my all-time... I would say this is my favorite game of all time. Not my most played, and we'll get into that deeper, but I loved Street Fighter 2 and Final Fight as a kid. Played them on Super Nintendo all the time. I never owned Final Fight on Super Nintendo. I would rent it all the time, but I had Street Fighter 2. But I would play this game at arcades, and just like, I don't know, it was just, I think as a kid, when you're a little kid, I was watching like action movies all the time. Yeah. I love Schwarzenegger. And here you are, this is an action movie. It's like an hour long to play. Oh dude, even the police are corrupt in this city. Oh, yeah, you got up. no one to turn to. One thing I love, my favorite little detail, he, spits out, he spits out gum at the beginning of it, you can go up and pick that gum up and it'll heal you. There you go, you get gum. Oh, Little yeah. detail. Any. He also shoots a gun. But I think playing oh, this like game as release. playing this game as a kid was cool because you were tough. You could go through and beat up the bad guys and you felt really cool. Look at all these dudes in the back just slapping their knees. Dude, right. one guy's <laughs> getting loose with it in the back. Dun, 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 dun. Um and also just the colors, the music, like Capcom pixel art in the 16-bit era, my favorite. I that's my favorite aesthetic. Like even the Disney games, just something about it, like that shit pops, and I love yeah. the depiction of it, the music, everything about it. And this was a game I just loved playing, and then anytime I'd go to like hotels, like in Vegas, th this is back in the day where there'd be um, Super Nintendo, this level kind of sucks. Is that, is that just where Terminator 2 ends? You gotta just jump through Is there through a thumb it. down there? Yeah. Um, I would play these games on the, in, oh, I would play these games on the hotel TV. How are you not burning? Hey, I've played this game millions of times, I know where to stand. Uh, I'm like a speedrunner at this. No deaths, baby. Uh, I would play these games on like the, the, the Super Nintendo and built-in thieves. But I didn't really get into this game deeper until it came out on Game Boy Advance. When Game Boy Advance came out, uh, they ported... Oh, we got it. See, this part is kind of funny because enemies can get hit too. You picked Guy, you switched out on me? Yeah, I wanted to check him out. Hagger's taking a break. Yeah. Little old man Hagger. Um, Game Boy... On Game Boy Advance, they started porting all these Super Nintendo games yeah. to the Game Boy Advance. So I got Game Boy Advance like in 2002, 2003, and my only game for a long time was was uh, Final Fight. But that was great because you could play through it in half an hour, and on Game Boy Advance, they added progression to it. So as you played the game, there was a running kill counter the more and more you played it. And every like 1,000 kills, like maybe four playthroughs, you would unlock stuff. You get like an outfit or something? You get different outfits. Oh, on the Game cool. Boy Advance game, you could play as the Street Fighter Alpha version of Guy and Cody. Oh. You can unlock like punch mode. You can have just all these little cheats. And like again, you, you were tracking your strats. Also, yeah, I, this level kind of sucks, but just because it's like, this is, it kind of slows us down. But as you get deeper into beat em ups, they add more quarter draining elements to the stage. Uh, and I feel like all beat em ups have tropes where there's like, there's the street, there's an underground level, sewers. there's the factory. This level has also, yeah, sewers, Jesus Christ. This level also has an elevator section, which we'll get to in oh, a bit. Oh, yeah, we have to, you have to ride this to the top. But floor. like, you can see the shit starts getting more intense, and it, it's like kind of not as fun to play. But you know what? I'm, you know, we're gelling in, we're talking. Um, yeah, so the Game Boy Advance version I loved. Also, there's a difference between the arcade version this and then the Super Nintendo version. So the arcade version right now is the original, and this is still the best way to play it. They later ported this to Xbox 360 and PS3, and that's just as good. Yeah. Um, the Super Nintendo version is censored. Like I said, they, they got rid of Hot Ass Poison, and now it's Billy and, like, Ted, or I don't know who the other guy's name is. Um, and also, like, 
the music isn't as good. They also cut this level from the Super Nintendo version. Why? Uh, because it's not as good, but also just to save space. Um, Jesus Christ. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I know, they cut it from the Super Nintendo version. Oh, this is getting gnarly. I think because the fire effects, they probably couldn't get it to work. Oh, yeah. Also, the Super Nintendo version, when you play it, you only have three enemies on screen at once. There's also no co-op mode. They really gutted it, huh. but... For its time, you know, it's still pretty good. If that was the only way you could own Yeah, it. that was the only way you could play it. And then they put it out on Sega C D, which is arcade perfect, except they reorchestrated it and it's like you got saxophones, electric guitars, and the soundtrack sounds like shit. Oh. So I'm not I like how crunchy the soundtrack yeah, is. Yeah, I like it. It's kind of rough. Dun, 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 on the 360 dun, dun, version, they did OC remixes of everything, and that music, that soundtrack I have on my iTunes. Orange I love County. it. Yeah, Orange County Remix. So this is a trope in beat em ups, the elevator section. This is a way for level designers to like spare, sa save some time, just dump a ton of enemies at you, drain your quarters, yeah. and the action keeps moving. Uh, press start again. But yeah, as I said, this game was developed by the same team who did Street Fighter 2, another reason why it's one of my favorite games of all time. Um, so Guy and Cody later went into Street Fighter Alpha. Andre Andor was later added as Hugo in uh, in Street Fighter 3, yeah. and then one boss we'll get to later was just added to Street Fighter 5. So they always dip back into Final Fight every now and then. And this boss that we see, fuck up, there's so many people just dying. The boss that you see up top there who's dropping grenades is Rolento, who was also in Street Fighter Alpha. So here we go, but he looks way crusty. Like he doesn't look at, like they gave him a stylish makeover Alpha, but here he yeah. kind of looks like this, like, this, <laughs> this scar. Why, why is he like Matrix themed? Oh yeah, dude, he's, he's so fast, he can't keep up with them. He also reminds me of, who's the bad guy in, in uh, Resident Evil 4? Uh, the knife Krauser. Fight. Krauser, there you go. Yeah, you got any tactics? You got knife fight here. Uh, we need quick time, hit L and R at the same time. Yeah, he's just start, start to dodge. Oh man. But yeah, Final Fight has just always been those games that I could always come back to, play it anytime I want. I could like listen to podcasts while I played. It's just something, when I play it, I guess it does tie into nostalgia, but like it's so, it's such a pure video game. Yeah. Hey, your girlfriend's been been kidnapped by this gang. Go fight them and beat them up. Rescue the day. Like it's, I don't know. It's just something so ch simple and charming about these old games that I love, and it still holds up. But again, the only section I really don't like are, is this elevator section, because because like this isn't really fun. What are you talking about? This bonus section also kind of sucks. You got to break some glass. But you know what? All I'm the about music. It. I'm all about it. Break some glass. It's like that Limp Biscuit song, Break Stuff. See, this is where they, this is where it's just, just this days. is hard if you're playing this by yourself. Oh, you, come on, Bruce, pick up the pace. What? You come, you, you ignore the I glass. Walked, I walked through the glass. Yeah, okay, all right. Like some Jackie Chan over there. Yeah. I won, I got way more points than you. I won the car thing, so it's okay. Oh, fair enough. All right, we're in the Bay Area. This, fuck off, this is one of my favorite levels in the game. So, something that's such a beautiful artistic choice. <laughs> So stop punching it. Oh, wow, that's so, it. Something that's also, I like uh, before Banksy, we had Leesky. Leesky. I like Leesky more. Yeah, honestly. I'm a big, uh, big art fan, big street guy. Who's Leesky? So this this game kicks ass. It starts out in the day, and then we just went to the nightlife. You've been fighting through the air, fighting through the gang so long that it starts to evolutionize and go into day. So this level starts at night, but you'll see the sunrise. And that is just like one of my favorite details. We've been fighting for weeks, yeah, for dude, days. It's amazing. You know, you gotta keep the streets safe. Look at the little puppy! puppy. Just that little Japanese cutesiness, and you know, no, you can't so, hit don't hit the puppy, dude. This ain't messed up. This is like a John Wick. They're gonna, gonna kill you. Jesus Christ! It's like Wolfenstein. Hey, these guys kind of suck ass. Bilbul, Bilbul. I pray on the Bilbul every night. Boom. G Origer. What happened to Wong Hu? Get off me. What? Ah. So there's like three clones. Dog, there's, help. They all have different facial hairs. Fuck. Oh, there's Wong Hu. He's coming back. All right, here we go. Something Wong. What? Uh. <laughs> Just saying. Come on. Hey, Frank. What? That's some... Hey, you know, I can make puns about God. Don't hit me for that. Hey, that's one, Don't hey, hit me. That's a warning shot. That's a warning shot. We're going to get to a PewDiePie scandal in JonTron. Yeah, someone clip that. Can someone clip Don't that? take that out of context. I'm just, this is for its time. Punch these in. Hey, I'm going to email Paul Final Trump. Fight 3, you fight like a sushi chef. So, I, you know, I ain't, getting, I ain't getting too deep into that. I like this dog a lot. Yeah, the dog's really what cute. What do you think this dog's name is? Uh, let's go with... Barksy. Thanks. Bark Barksy. Yeah, his name is Barksy. Alright, we fast forward a little bit just because uh, this level just throws a ton of enemies at you. Uh, but I do like this because it's like this is more Death Wish stuff. Yeah. This is like where Charles Bronson's alone in the park and then there's all these gangs want to mess him up for no good. And again, I just like this because look at all these girls. Look at all these pretty girls you got. Except they're bad girls. You know, you want to pick them up. I am into it. Hey, I'm into it too. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Ah. Way hot. Way hot. Cool. What? Uh -huh. Like poison. Yeah. They're pretty. Their profile picture though, ain't good though. In the top left and top right, when you punch them. Oh, that's a that's a deal breaker. Yeah, poison. Oh, I don't know. I'm not gonna tag. Their you profile Facebook. though. I just got the low crop too. You can see some side boob. That's hot as hell. What about what about Haggard? 
Uh, yeah, he's, he's, he's got the nips out, dude. Uh, free the nipple, right? Come hey, over what, here. Hey, what side is the strap on? I just realized that. Uh, it, fl it flickers back and forth. So if you look at the bad vest, sexy. <laughs> Sorry, I just thought, wait. There is something so funny about having sexy written on a grimy ass toilet. Yeah, man. Oh, Jesus. Hey, people got the wrong thing. I guess. Sexy. What? Who saw this toilet and thought sexy? I mean, I'm not gonna say that. Also, I wish there were citizens. I like this green dude on the. Hmm. Like on the top. Yeah, the that's my little. Uh, yeah, that's like, that's my, my little leeksy. Yeah, my little leeksy. Sexy, sexy and leeksy, dude. And gex, dude. We got the gex tag up here. Oh, that's, that's a prophecy. <laughs> gex. Gex and sexy, dude. Tearing it up. Look at all these bad boys. I mean, gex and sex go hand in hand. Yeah, look at all these pub punk guys. Punk, 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 punk. He, look, he looks dead. Yeah, these are all, these are all closed now. He looks like Thriller. So, they made Final Fight, which is the best, and then they made straight to SNES sequels. Final Fight 2 isn't good. For whatever reason, like, I don't know, it doesn't click. You don't play as Guy. You play as, like, some lame-ass characters that no one really likes. Uh, you still play as Hagger, though. But yeah, Final Fight 2 I'm not a fan of, although Final Fight 2 has a cameo from Chun Li in it, which is pretty cool. Huh. Um, Final Fight 3 though, which we might play off in a future episode. Final Fight 3 is pretty good. Final Fight 3 was one of, Final Fight 1 was one of the first Super Nintendo games, so the technology was pretty basic and scrunched. Oh my god, okay, this oh. part's pretty rad. Um, Final Fight oh, 3 geez. though kicks ass because they made that near the end of Super Nintendo's life, so the technology was pretty advanced. In Final Fight 1, you didn't have a two-player mode, but Final Fight 3, you had a uh, co-op mode where the AI could play alongside you. And the music kicks ass, like the enemies are pretty crazy. So I, I'm a big fan of Final Fight 3, but again, it was only on Super Nintendo, so it's like not got like the best frame rate or anything, yeah. but it's still pretty good. Um, they made a Sega CD Final Fight video game called Final Fight Revenge, which, no, it was from Saturn. I never played it, but I might want to play in the future. And they made a PS2 uh, sequel called Final Fight Streetwise, which is a 3D brawler. Uh, except they tried making it like Grand Theft Auto, really gritty. What? Really? Yeah. So I, I might want to play that in the future show. But yeah, Capcom kind of yeah, just let. What, what system is it on? PS2 and Xbox. I want to play it in the future, but apparently it's not good. But yeah, say. Final Fight. It kind of just like kind of died, but then they don't throw that shit at me. Final Fight kind of died, but then it evolved into like Street Fighter Alpha. Also, okay, so we've been fighting all night, and now you can see this kind of crude uh, graphic in the back. You start to see how the sunrise is starting to bleed into it. I would say it. it's crude, it's pretty. I like it, yeah. So if you notice it right in the middle, it's a little jarring, but it's a quiet thing in the background. Also, this dog, he's an owner. Jesus, never ends in the back here. Yeah. Um, so have you, like, would you say that, like, brawlers or beat ups are your favorite genre? It's... It's a tough thing because they're not my favorite genre of today, but like growing up, yeah, they were my favorite. I think it's because like you could beat them. They were easy to yeah. beat and it wasn't like a lar like an RPG or a platform. Those are hard. Brawlers is you just put quarters in, you can beat. I guess that's why I like arcade experiences because as a kid, you have infinite lives and continues. It wasn't skill based, you could just mash quarters into it. Like even us now, we're not really playing skills. We're dying a lot, but we're just putting shit in. Oh my God. Are there any like modern beat ups that you like a lot? Or I mean, there's other than there's been fight? reinvented ones like Castle Crashers and like every once in a while, like Scott Pilgrim kicks ass. And like Rodrigo and I on Neighborhood Game Club, we fucking went into the history of beat em ups. So we covered a lot. Um, but I still appreciate when, when beat em ups come out every now and then. But it's a really hard genre to keep fresh because you beat it for an hour and you move on. But like I still appreciate when beat em ups come out. Like there's a game I saw at PAX called Way of the Way of the Passive Fist, which looks pretty good. Um, there's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Simpsons. There's other art beat em ups in the era I really like. Streets of Rage came out, which was a copy of Final Fight, so that's why I never really cared about it. But Streets of Rage 2, is, the music is great, but I was never a Sega Genesis guy, so I never cared about it. Mm -hmm. But we'll show that off in a future episode. Got, got Lisa coming out. But no, Final Fight's always my favorite. But all the Capcom beat em ups have this charm to them that I love. So they did this, but then they also did like the Punisher, which is amazing because it's Final Fight, except you have guns. Oh, our, yeah, Punisher our, yeah, kicks ass. Like there's aliens versus Predator. There's a Dungeons and Dragons beat 'em up, which what? really kicks ass. It's, yeah. You play like wizards and knights. You not not so. You play as like Templars and yeah. You got like you got like, uh, like rogues. You got like the warrior. And then what was it? Dragons? Not Dragons Dogma. What, Dragons? What was that like gorgeous 2D game that came out on PS3? You know what I'm talking about? Double Dragon? No, not Double Dragon. Double Dragon Neon's good. No, there's a PS3 one where he plays a big titted witch. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, Dragon's Crown. Dragon's Crown. Like, that was an evolution of it. Is that the only thing you remember from that game? I guess, myself. Keep going right. What are you stopping there oh, for? Stop thought... a little thing break. All right, look at uh, Lady, oh. Lady, got Lady Liberty in the back. Oh, way out. Jesus Christ. Okay, Abigail, who just added to Street Fighter V. His proportions in this and good. In Street Fighter IV, he looks like a goddamn mess. Whoa, the animation just glitched there. Oh yeah, there's something satisfying about playing beat em ups because I love when you stack people in a row, you just punch them and clear them out, and you see their health dwindle down. Like I, I like in any video game where you see enemy hit damage, you know how much you're affecting them. 
And like the modern beat em ups that this game evolved into was uh, Dynasty Warriors. Mm. Like that's what I like playing today. Like that's the evolution of Final Fight. And it's the same thing. You got tons of enemies on screen, you get their health meters, and you're just whacking them down, listening to podcasts. And man, I, I love it. Anyways, you got Abigail. The final, he looks like a road warrior. Jesus Christ, there's so many enemies I've here. I've never played Dynasty Warriors other than at your place. Yeah, yeah. And you just, always yell at me. Yeah, because you're not very good at it. We'll do Dynasty Warriors 3 in the future. Show, oh my god, get off me. Put in some more quarters. Hell yeah, there we go. Beat his ass. And now we're on to the last level. We're getting closer to huh. Mad Gear's headquarters. Well, I like okay. this. I like this a lot. This kicks ass. Pong. Uh, like, also, like, you don't have Coca-Cola, you got Nin Nin. Oh, because it was, like, Nintendo, I think. Or it was a developer. Nin -nin. But yeah, like, here's Times Square, Whiskey. Like, this part doesn't look so bad. You know, we're actually kind of into the nice area yeah, of the city. The rich people. Yeah. So, also, it's really funny. We meet the the head of Mad Gear, and he lives in, like, this mansion. Um, but it's got a really weird layout, because, like, we're playing through some crusty-ass areas, and now it's getting prettier and prettier and prettier. But look, also, where are we going? Oh, we're going to this mansion. But also, there's a lot of chandeliers, and this kind of drains your quarters, too. Like, uh-oh, look out. All right, so we beat some of them more baddies. Now we're going a level up above. You think we're gonna get to the main boss? No, we just got transported to Malibu, baby. What, why are there trees up here? You know what, because you know, these trees aren't good enough for the slums down below. This is where the rich people live, up above. So, right, we went up an elevator, and now all of a sudden it's like we're in this new, like... It's like Mirror's Edge. Right? And the, and the music changes, and now it's like we're in California. We get into like some Sega territory. So I like the look of this, but look at this. We got these fancy pools. This is where all the rich people live. But wait a minute, why why are the rich people evil? Oh, corruption. 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 But Mike Hager's a man of the people. Jesus Christ. Anyways, you, so you uh, fight through. <laughs> stop punching me. So you fight through, so you see some pools, you see some palm trees. Like, look at, look at the high dives. Like, this is just so absurd. Uh, and you got all these bad boys behind you trying to get in on the action. It's like Craig I really like back the background. Here. Yeah, this is way cool. I like how they change it up. What are those, like, big orange things? Those are uh, umbrellas. Like, you know, the have circles? You, yeah, have you been to the beach? Why are, they, why are they, like, just circles? Oh, I guess they look like beach balls. I don't know, it's just kind of some artistic uh, input. I need to die so I can change back to guy. I don't want to beat this game as Hagger. I'll mess up the whole continuity of the story. Before we got to switch, you got to be Hagger. I got to be good guy. Okay. I want this burger. You want this burger? Oh shit, see, that's too much going on. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I know, right? That's a beat em up, dude. They just mash enemies at you. So, with Final Fight, that's pure everything else. Oh, I kind of get, get bored of it, but I really like this game. <laughs> Alright, we beat the fucking thousands in our path. This is like the raid when you kill Mill like Old Boy that hallway. It was yeah. bloody as hell. We cut that Here graphic. We are a week later. Oh my god, there's more people than mine. Fuck. <laughs> Jesus Christ, this never, level never ends. Can you imagine how much money this is? Come on, let's go, let's go. I'm trying to get this, pick up the pace. My I'm girlfriend I'm, I'm is- I'm trying in, to get the, it's my, your girlfriend. My, yeah, my girlfriend. You're I, you're just the friend, dude. No one, no one. I thought know. you said like a, it's like a childhood friend in the cutscene. Yeah, I, I'm, yeah, well he's my girlfriend and who I, my childhood friend, my sweetheart since childhood. I like, I like yeah, Cody's he's... jumps. I also like Cody because he kind of dresses like a dweeb. He's got the white, like it's a very classic look. But yeah, well, it's not Tucked dweeb. in, well, he's what ripped. I'm like, that's kind of how he dresses. It's, like, it's kind of like a, yeah, I'm just as ripped as well. Yeah, I, I'm pretty much Cody. Yeah. Guy kind of looks, or guy kind of looks ugly with his profile. Yeah, I mean, big, he kind of looks like you a little bit. No, what? Yeah, I'm just no, why? I'm like, oh, I'm yeah, more like yeah. Hagger. Ah, you get you. Know. you, look, you look more like Ondor. That's the kind of face you got. Really? Like, yeah. You guys just don't know what's going on. You just you know. I do want rock a sick wallet chain. Every oh, for a now. second I thought I was guy. I forgot who I was. Ah, uh, yeah, see. <laughs> You got the you, pink though. I appreciate a bad dude. I appreciate a bad dude who wears pink. That's very like windjammers, very nineties. All right, switch There's to the bad dudes and windjammers. Yeah, switch to the Hagger. There you go. Look at that mustache, dude. My dad had a mustache like that when I was a kid. Pretty badass. Charles Bronson got that mustache. Yeah, right? Charles Bronson is Mac Hagger. Yeah, that's true. Except for the gun. All right, here we go. Oh, get these people out of here. I can't see them. Uh, if you get out of the way. All right, let's get over here. I want to pick up. Oh, this is so tedious. Andre looks like Mario in his profile. It's so scrunched. There we go. Yeah, does. Look at these titties doing these statues. Woo! Ugh. Can't wait for Jessica. Oh my god, I thought we were getting to the boss. Jesus Christ. I want this chicken. I want the chicken. All right, Fuck you, fucker. Here we go. Oh, come on. You get, get the chicken now. Yeah. All right, finally, we're going to get to the boss. Here we go. I know everyone's been waiting for it. I hope we fight more dudes. There we go. <laughs> okay. Oh, jeez. Did you expect that? <laughs> it's Old up. man on a wheelchair? What's he doing? It's kind of like George Bush, dude. Uh, <laughs> cop of feel. He's got a gun, too. Did you hear about that story? <laughs> so all the sexual assault stuff's been coming out, and uh, there's reports of uh, George Bush Sr., uh, who was president at the time this game came out, uh, who's now in a wheelchair. When he does photo ops with girls, 
he'll get next to your girl and he'll say, oh, do you know who my favorite magician is? David Copperfield, and grab the girl's butt. Really? Wait, what? Yep. That's a, what, that's a real thing? Yep, that's a real thing. What did he say about it? He was like, ah, oh, uh, oh, People oh, are just oh. like, ah, oh, he's old. But you know, that's, you know, that's just, that's corruption never ends, dude. That's why Mag, Mag Hagger needs to put it. You can say the it. same thing about Bill Cosby or Woody Allen, but that's not an excuse because they're old. Yeah, I, I, I'm not excusing George Bush. I'm saying he's corrupt. That's why Mike Hagger's got to take out the trash. Oh. Yeah, I didn't excuse that. David Copperfield. Has a little bow tie. He kind of looks like me. I like his outfit. It looks pretty good. But yeah, he's like a cripple. It's weird you're beating him up. I don't know if it feels right. I like it. Is cripple right? Sir? He's a handicap. Sorry. There's so much that I've been taken out of context in this video. Oh! oh this is why I like the ending of oh, this. Oh, jeez. Poor wheelchair man. But you know, he was no good. Look at poor Jessica. We gotta save her. Oh, Jessica. I am your father. Oh, I thought you were quoting Star Wars, but it's true. Yeah. Oh, father. I was so scared. See, I like this because you get closure with all three characters. You know? First, it's Haggard, one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, Dad, I'm so, I'm so scared. I'm glad they didn't see you. If this was Death Wish, Jessica would be killed. Yeah, her arm would be broken. Yeah, there we go. I love this music that comes in. It sounds like fucking Yoshi Island. I thought I lost it like your mother. That is some Death Wish shit. Is this Hag text scroll this slow? Yeah. I'll never let anything bad happen to you again until Final Fight 2 and Final Fight 3. I love you, Father. All right, get some closure. And then... We just walk away. Yeah, dude. Wait, this is, uh, isn't... You, you said it was your girlfriend, right? Yeah. You just walk away? Hey, dude, you back know, let, to the gym. let her... Yeah, we gotta work out, dude. I'll talk to you later, babe. Uh, her and her dad, you know, let's father, you know, daughter time. That's important. But I like this reflection. We just... Also, one thing that's so funny with Capcom games is they never put their names in the credits. They would have, like, Yuki Chan's Papa did the music. <laughs> Oh, my favorite. Pooh! Special thanks to Pooh, shout out. Chin. They would have nicknames in the credits, Pooh which I thought was really funny and weird. Yeah. Nowadays, also, back then it was 20 people making a game. Now you have thousands of people. Now let's go back to nicknames. Oh, here's the very ending. Cody! He jealous! Oh. I love that. Such a cute touch. Oh, Got them Adidas. I'll put reblog that on Tumblr. Where are you going? How can you, you just, just walk, walk away right now? Because, no. dude, violence, you gotta get revenge. No. doesn't end. I want to stay here with you, Jessica. But I can't not while Evil still See, dude, I love that. I streets. relate. I relate to it, dude. He's got work to do. Oh, Cody. Little kiss. I love it. That's yeah. so cute. So that was Final Fight at the computer. Uh, kind of funny to go back and replay it. That's always been my answer. It's my favorite game of all time. The second half of the game with the Rolento level and the final boss, it's kind of overstays its welcome. Um, yeah. Beat em ups in general always have that part where just you get these quarter sucking sections and it's like, eh, it's okay. But when I played that on Game Boy Advance as a kid, I played that forever and it was so fun just powering through it. I think it's because it was portable and fun. Loading up on MAME all the time, it's so influential. There would be no Streets of Rage 2 without uh, Final Fight, and I guess there'd be no Final Fight without Double Dragon, you know, et cetera, et cetera. But Final Fight to me, I consider Street Fighter 2 and Final Fight, they're developed around the same time. Final Fight's the single player, Street Fighter 2's the multiplayer. Collectively, those two are my favorite games of all time. Um, I still think it's worth, even if you're just looking at it, I feel like it's worth just checking out because like the 80s nostalgia, punk stuff, the colors, the graphics, like there's something so charming about it, the gameplay, it still holds up. Uh, it's still one of my favorite games of all time. I wouldn't say it's the best game of all time, but I give it two thumbs up. I think it's okay. One thumbs up. Oh. Okay. That's hard words. You, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say hey, it at I'm, all. I'm a critic. I have my right. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right, well, fair enough. I gave no thumbs to Blinks, so that's fair enough. Um, anyways, let's take a look at some emails. You've got mail. We got a great email from Andrew. He asks, what's your favorite gameplay mechanic that hasn't been used in anything else? Um, for me, like there's so much. For me, the first thing that came into mind as a gameplay mechanic I loved, it hasn't been like implemented well in others, are the codec calls in Metal Gear Solid. Particularly Metal Gear Solid 1 and 2. Other games have that, where you can check in with party members or you can call people on your smartphone. But there's something so specific the way it's used in Metal Gear Solid, both as a storytelling tool, but at any point in the game, you have all these dozens of contacts that you can call and they give you extra story stuff that's so specific to the room you're in. You can witness a cutscene and then call like Meryl or Otacon. And it's like you get all these personal side stories that's so deep and specific and really well done. And like other, like other RPGs and stuff, they haven't really done that. Like that to me like was amazing. 
And I feel like just any Ko- 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 Kojima game has so many weird specific things. Like, even, like, Raiden's nudity in Metal yeah. Gear Solid 2. Like, why hasn't there been more, more male nudity in games? I don't even mean that jokingly. Like, Russ has that, like... Like, BM Triple X has nudity. Like, just bring more nudity into games. Like, I, I know that sounds silly, but, like, just let's get more let's get more weird. I mean, it's something you can play with, for sure. Yeah, I think that's cool. I mean, personally, for me, like, one of the first things I thought of is the Journey Seamless Multiplayer. Yeah, that was Which I think is cool. really cool. But I'm a huge fan of, like, one-off mechanics that so much work and effort went into designing yeah. this one mechanic just for this little two-minute scene. Yeah. Like, in Last of Us, the DLC, there's a broken arcade machine that Ellie wants to play... But it, you know, it's broken. Yeah. And so her friend pretends to be the sound effects, and so you're playing a fighting game. Oh, that's cute. But it's just Ellie's face yeah. you're looking yeah. at. And then similarly in the newest Uncharted, it like the game opens and also closes with you playing Crash Bandicoot. Yeah. And it, again, it's just this one-off thing mm-hmm. they put into the game, and, it's done and so it's, high they well. never bring it up again. One thing I love is like you have other games like Wolfenstein. You can play yeah. original Wolfenstein. I love how that stuff was implemented. Um, but like even in Wolfenstein one, uh, the, the reboot, whatever you have the dream sequences, you go back to older. I love that. That's starting to be in more games. I love that. But specifically with uncharted, when you are playing crash bandicoot, the way that's implemented, I like, you're going to see more games start doing that with nostalgia and like animal crossing, you play original stuff. That's in a lot of games, but I love that, but I like seeing it when it's done really well. Well, Uncharted, there's so much great dialogue yeah. in it, and it builds the relationship. Like, you get so much out of the relationship, out there. Like, their little competitiveness yeah, with each like, other. I, like, it's, I think that's And great. then, like, of, like, the book ending with it as well. It's yeah, like, you beat the high score. Um, Amazing. Yeah, let us know in the comments what's some of your favorite game play mechanics that aren't in other games. I like in Final Fight, you eat chicken off the ground. That's been in a lot of games, but you know what? No one did it better. I like eating chicken off the ground. Uh, we open with a thank you circle. And you know what? It didn't go as well as I'd hoped. Uh, Bruce could have, you know, dug hey, deeper just, for something I, he nice. He sounds a little unthankful. But I will say, you know, we want to spread that love to the comments. So yeah. I want everyone in the comment section, spread the love. You know, if you see someone write a comment, reply back to them. Say something nice about them. Yeah. I'm going to be in there in the comments. Everyone reply to each other. Just spreading the love. Say something nice about me. Say something nice about Bruce. I want to hey, see a comment chain like 30 replies. Yeah. And then I'll say something nice about you. So, you know, spread the love. Let's get a love circle going. And until next time, we'll see you at the computer.